Welcome to the shooting show. Stand by for shots fired. Hello, I'm Johnny Rowland, your host of the shooting show, and welcome to today's program. We want to let those Thursday night satellite viewers that on last week's show we had a little problem with our uh, master tape that went to the uplink and is playing, of course, this uh, uh, next week on the Outdoor Channel. The Outdoor Channel viewers won't know any difference, but uh, our Thursday night viewers saw an, an old program, but we do appreciate you folks being with us. You know, we just came back from Massachusetts from the uh, Gun Owners Action League banquet, the anniversary, 20th anniversary a banquet and meeting. And friends, let me tell you what, it was inspirational. First of all, I want to add that there are some of the nicest, most patriotic citizens up in Massachusetts and Connecticut and in the Northeast that we've got in this country. Some of the finest people in this country are there. And we want to thank everyone who came down. We had some of our gun club members that came down to the gun show on Saturday and were so nice. Uh, some of them waited for a long time to get to meet us, and we really appreciate your efforts. It meant so much to us. Well, friends, we have a, a really interesting piece this week on the Wesson Firearms Company. And let me introduce you to Seth Wesson. He's going to begin our program this week. You ready, Johnny? Yeah. We're going to get them right there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the home of Seth and Carol Wesson out here in, I'm going to call this rural Massachusetts. And as we've talked about, I think I've said in other uh, places during our interviews here, this is some of the prettiest country. And I didn't really realize how much countryside there is, in fact, here in Massachusetts. Uh, I can really understand why our forefathers came here and were so excited about this new and wonderful place to live. Now, I realize here we are in May, and it's real pretty and warm. Now, the winter was pretty tough this year, wasn't it, Seth? It was. We had a lot of snow, and it was a good old New England winter. <laughs> and uh, one thing about New England, it'll, uh, the weather will change. It's just, wait a minute, it'll change. Well, if you, you mean if you don't like the weather here, we'll wait just a little while, you'll get something different. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> it'll, change. it'll be different. Well, Seth, of course, is, uh, uh, comes from a long line of uh, gun builders. And, uh, of course, today he and his, his family have the Wesson Firearms Plant, and of course Carol is on the scene doing day-to-day -day operations, uh, and she handles a lot of the business, and of course Seth has a lot of experience. One, his ex expertise is in uh, machining and metal work and, and engineering, because Seth was, was on the scene. Now, we're going to make it clear, now you folks are not the Dan Wesson Company. Uh, the company was out of your family for several years, is that correct? That's right, that's right. It was. It was, uh, it was out, it was owned by people that are, are not affiliated with the family and uh, they put into bankruptcy in 1990. So, uh, and now, of course, they still, uh, the guns resemble the Dan Wesson guns. Of course, Dan Wesson was Seth's father and he passed away in 1978, is that Right, right. I, if right. I remember correctly. November 78. November 78. And so now we have the Wesson Firearms Company back under uh, their management and ownership. And uh, we're so pleased about that because, in my opinion, of all the things, all the guns that we shoot, a lot of companies make good guns. There's no question. But in my opinion, the Wesson is the overall best design. And of course, their materials are excellent and their accuracy, especially what you get for dollars value I think is unsurpassed in the industry and, and you know friends I wouldn't say it if I didn't believe it I mean these are nice people but I'm not gonna lie for them you know so uh, Seth's going to show us we're going to take a look at a couple of uh, one of their very first guns and some unusual things that uh, you wouldn't normally see uh, any any place except up here at the factory and in uh, uh, certainly a couple of things they have and I think you're really going to enjoy it okay. this is a this is a Model 12 produced in the early 70s. Our first production gun was uh, made on uh, August uh, 13, 1970. And it's changed quite a bit since then. I, I think in the beginning, one of the things that they talked about was the old ugly nut on the outside of the barrel. Of course, back then, the barrel was still, it was under tension, supported on both ends like it is today, with the interchangeable features. But this ugly nut there, they, people didn't think too much of that. Um, 
it's been uh, it's it's the basic gun is still the same today with the interchangeable grips where we had the one piece grip that could change the cylinder still latches in front where we think that the uh, alignment between the exit hole and the cylinders and the barrel is very important the uh, cylinder is still supported on the on the back end here by the with the center ball and it's support rigid on both ends this is the barrel the uh, but it's changed a bunch through the years it's changed a lot minor details improvements and uh, we've been constantly improving the product for uh, 20 years over 20 years here we have a it's a prototype that never was into production from the early years back when the uh, from the basic model 12 but what this is this is a black powder Dan Wesson and uh, it was done experimentally like I say never went into production we don't have any plans to put it in production but it's just one of the oddities that we've had that we've had and I want to share with you the um, one of the things that, that being a small company we listen to we listen to the consumer we listen to the people who are shooting these guns we listen to what they have to say this is something that gets their interest but I don't think that uh, marketing wise it have, have a very big market it's uh, but it's it's kind of neat and uh, it's just to share that along with you folks this is a 44 Magnum we came out with that product line in the early 80s this is uh, there was a limited edition that was done this is an early serial number this isn't a shooter. <laughs> this is the put away to save for the grandkids uh, when when they come along. Don't have any yet. Not that old. Not not that old yet. But it's um, we came with the uh, 44 Magnum product line in in the early 80s, and it's certainly been a a very popular popular uh, firearm. Again, too, we were listening to what the consumers wanted, what people wanted, and they wanted this, and we we took our basic design with the interchangeable barrel in one piece grip and we just broadened that made a new frame much bigger heavier frame to be able to handle that and in doing so we have a, a massive uh, cylinder that uh, that'll take a, a real good load and this becomes again the base as we as we move along farther now in the future to add a little bit more power to them but this is uh, there were 250 of these made at that time well, with the advent of that 44 Magnum frame and the bigger, heavier frame, we even made it a little bit bigger so we could put a little longer cylinder in here. And again, with all the same basic features of, that we've, been, we've had since the early 70s, but this is the 445, which is a granddaddy 44 Magnum cartridge. And uh, this particular one is the Alaskan Guide Special. It's a four-inch barrel in here with a compensated uh, shroud on the front to take some of that muzzle flip out and it's it's a, not an uncomfortable firearm to shoot you look at the cartridge and you sometimes look at what you're doing and you think it'd be abusive but it's uh, very very comfortable it's heavy it's big but it's um, I don't think I'd want to shoot that cartridge in a real lightweight revolver hi I'm Bob Brown Vietnam veteran and publisher of Soldier of Fortune magazine described by some as the most politically incorrect magazine in the United States. Every issue we publish in-depth, provocative articles by our investigative reporters on the efforts of gun-grabbing politicians and the BATF to undermine our Second Amendment rights and what you can do to stop them. Also, on-site coverage of the government's abuse of power as occurred in the Randy Weaver tragedy and the Waco fiasco. No puff, no fluff, in-depth technical reviews of new firearms and ammo. In short, hard-hitting action articles of immediate interest to all real Americans, available from no other mainstream media. You need the other side of the story. That's why I'm offering a one-year subscription to Soldier of Fortune for only $22. That's over a 50% saving. Also, we're going to throw in a free 67-page bonus coverage of all our Waco material that's appeared in Soldier of Fortune and how it affects you. Call our 1-800 number now. And that number is 1-800-877-5207. Again, 1-800-877-5207 for subscription information for Soldier Fortune magazine. A year subscription, $22 plus the great Waco supplement. Friends, a terrific bargain for a terrific magazine. We've got here is a 44 Magnum 
that's had uh, quite a bit of engraving and gold inlay work done on it. It's part of the American Historical Society, one of the series that they put out using our our revolver to do that. It's a it's a very pretty piece. And I think we I think it's important we talk about that a little bit. And it's a, this is their deer deer hunter series. It's very very pretty. We don't shoot this one. <laughs> A couple of years ago, uh, we were talking about product and we, we were talking about some of the folks who didn't like the interchangeable barrel features of our, of our product. They were afraid if they put them into a security group or, or uh, something like that, that people would take them home and, uh, and fiddle with them and not understand them and run into problems with them. And so we were asked to make a fixed barrel revolver. And after a lot of work and, and forethought here, we still wanted to maintain the barrel under tension inside where it's supported on both ends. And what we did was we had a little brainstorming session. We still have a two-piece barrel. The, sh the barrel's inside with a shroud over, over the outside. The barrel is still applied in there inside. It's under tension, still supported under both end, on both ends. And, uh, and it's a shooter. I mean, this gun does shoot. It, I know that Johnny, uh, I watched Johnny uh, last night do some shooting with it and uh, for a fellow who never picked up and spent a lot of time shooting this gun. This, this man can shoot. I mean, it, he can. But it's been very, very well received. It's priced right. It's, uh, and what's really interesting about this is that the, the evolution of the company where it's come 20 years, tw over 20 years of the interchange of a barrel, and now it seems like it's gone the whole circle and come right on around. But this is a very, very fine revolver. We're certainly very proud of it, and uh, and we think that it's uh, the market likes this. The market likes this. It shoots well. Uh, it, it, it's just I don't know. I just get real. I'm real proud of it. I really am. Now, friends, what you're seeing is the side of a very special Wesson revolver. Look down in the left-hand corner of your screen. There, you'll see some initials on the side of the gun underneath Wesson firearms. It says TSS-1. Well, friends, this is the Shoot and Show Special Model Revolver in 41 Magnum. This is a special run of guns that the Wesson Company is making for us here at the program. And this is, I believe, going to be one of the finest defensive all-around firearms uh, that's ever been built. It is in, and you know, one of my favorite chamberings, the 41 Magnum, which arguably is the best single handgun caliber. But this is something that we've worked very hard on, and these people are so nice to do this for us, and it's going to be just a terrific gun. This is the two-room prototype model, and you can see there TSS-1. And let's take a look at the whole gun now. It's so pretty. It's a four-inch barrel, fixed barrel, uh, for that matter, a Wesson, a large frame revolver, and friends, this is so terrific, and for that matter, exciting, because uh, they're building this gun to our specifications the models that will be available for sale and if you're an FFL holder you can order this gun through us here at the program uh, we're going to be the distributor for uh, this particular gun and some other Wesson firearms for that matter but uh, I find this to be such an exciting concept because here you have a gun that is going to be ultra rugged it's going to be extremely accurate and of course in the great 41 Magnum chambering now we'll be uh, when as soon as they ship out the models for testing uh, that we'll get here on the show. We're going to run a test on it. We're a few weeks away from that, but we want to show it to you today because uh, this is something that a lot of our gun club members may want to own one of these very fine guns. The good news is they're not going to be that terribly expensive. You know, the Wesson firearms are such a great bargain anyway, and no, we're not going to charge an exorbitant amount for these guns because we'd like them in the hands of good shooters uh, as many as possible. So uh, look for this on the program. We'll be updating you when they become available. And I, I tell you what, I can hardly wait myself. The Shooting Show will be right back after this break for your local cable company or TV station.
friends, we are extremely pleased to be working with one of the finest magazines that you can find in the United States today, and it's called The New American. And the April 4 issue, which you see on your screen, covers issues like toward a police state, using a national epidemic of crime and violence as their justification, media pundits and collectivist politicians are aggressively campaigning to disarm private citizens and strengthen federal law enforcement powers. Yes, friends, this is our type of magazine, mostly because it's true. Now, these people at the New American Magazine are making a special offer available to the Shoot and Show audience for $22 for a six-month subscription, including the April 4 issue here, which deals with gun control and the things that go on with the politicians in Washington on how they're literally trying to disarm the United States population. Now, trust me on this one. If you're a gun owner, you need to get this issue of the New American. And friends, this uh, magazine comes twice a month. This is really a bargain. They cover all sorts of subjects, such as the Somalian quagmire, as you can see. And how about national service, if you really want the true picture of what this national service uh, is all about. How about the conservative index or the 103rd Congress, subjects like terror in Haiti, the real Aristide. How about Bill Clinton and a question of character, which is most important to to most of us certainly as conservative Americans and here's a tremendous article on the New World Army now friends this is one of the finest publications that I think you could find in print anywhere today it is really a bargain twenty two dollars for six months of the New American magazine and remember this is thirteen issues including this powerful uh, gun control issue and friends I don't think you'll be disappointed this in fact if you want to be informed about what's going on in the United States uh, and all sorts of issues that are so important to every last one of us who are really patriotic citizens you need to start getting the New American now to get it you can call them at 1-800-727-TRUE and those numbers are 8783, 1-800-727-8783, and be sure and tell them that you saw it here on The Shooting Show. It is such an important publication for our time, friends, and to really be informed, if you want to know the truth about what's going on in this country and around the world, again, you need the new American, 1-800-727-TRUE-8783, the new American. Well, friends, we want to break in the program for a moment, and I think the judge and myself would like uh, uh, to, again, extend our thanks to those very fine people up in Massachusetts that made us so welcome. And, sir, do you have a short word to say on that? Well, we had a chance to go through the Western Firearms Factory, and we were very impressed with the, with the uh, strength of their work, with the quality of their work. Uh, uh, that seems to be... Uh, the up-and-coming firearms firm in the United States as far as I'm concerned. And would also like to again extend our appreciation to those folks from Goal, and that's the Gun Owners Action League for the state of Massachusetts. They're really doing a tremendous job. And I tell you what, they can set an example for a lot of other uh, shooters and gun owners and enthusiasts in other places. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, Johnny, we need that uh, in almost every state. We're going to need it here in Louisiana pretty soon because the governor's calling a special session and including a crime package, and heaven only knows what's going to be in that. Well, you know, just like this Colt Sporter that I'm holding here, this is not an assault gun, but uh, these people have gone nuts. They're calling uh, guns like this all sort of semi-automatics. They're going to literally want to take away from us, and uh, the problem is not the firearm. The problem is not the the decent citizen or or the decent shooter it certainly is not and and friends you trust us on this one it's now these semi-automatics and it won't be long before these revolvers uh, because already they've started talking the anti-gun people have started talking about uh, handguns now they were on semi-automatics until they could get something done and, about that and in fact what can we do about this now judge about the semi-automatic ban? well we can do a whole lot about it yet the uh I understand Senator Dole has made the announcement that he will lead a filibuster on the House uh, bill that that uh, had all those uh, gun bans in it, uh, and that probably also means a crime bill when it gets out of conference, that he will lead a filibuster on it, provided he gets enough support from the people in the country to do it. If enough people call him and ask him to lead that filibuster, then he says he will do it. At least that's the way we understand it. That means that you need to call the Capitol switchboard. 
And let's get that number now. Uh, area 202-224-3121. And ask for Senator Dole's office, or I don't know exactly how they handle these things, but you need to follow it up. Call, make a call, get Senator Dole's office, get the word out to Senator Dole, then write him a note. Do it in longhand, just on a little pad of paper. It doesn't need to be much paper as long as it's done because the, uh, the senators and the representatives feel that when they get something that's handwritten that it represents so much more uh, than just a phone call. And you also said the other day a form letter is not necessarily the best way to go. It needs to be a handwritten note. It ought to be a handwritten note. If you don't have time for anything else, form letter is better than nothing. Telephone call is better than nothing. But a telephone call and a handwritten note combined really do, does make an impact, and you need to do this. And I told you in a show a couple of weeks ago that you can make a difference. And you can make a difference, uh, but it takes action for doing it because our opponents are organized, and they're going to do what they can. It's important. And wherever you may be in whichever state you're in, you need to write and call your own senators and let the, ask them to support the filibuster that Senator Dole uh, is going to do. That he says he, he may do. Well, uh, and yes, ask him to do it. I've already written out to senators about it uh, and uh, asking them to support a filibuster. Uh, they voted correctly on everything we've had so far. I just hope they'll vote on the, on the filibuster the right way, too. Well, I certainly hope so. Now, friends, to write that note, this is important, and get a pencil and a piece of paper and write this down. To write to your U.S. Senator, here it is. To write to that Senator, put the Honorable, whatever his name or uh, may be, U.S. Senate, Washington, D.C. That zip code is 20510. Again, the Senator's name, the Honorable, whoever, U.S. Senate, Washington, D.C., 20510. Get her name in, too. I mean, this, this might be a lady Senator and get your wife to sign the letter. Uh, I don't know, I really think that letters from women get more attention than letters from men. Well, that's an awfully good point, Judge. This is something that, friends, it's got to be done because uh, the latest thing, let me tell you what we heard uh, broke on the news yesterday. The United Nations is now organizing a plan that they would like to enact worldwide to disarm civilian populations worldwide now. You know, we've been talking about this one world government, this new world order, and we you've been hearing us say it here on the program, and I know that we've had people out there say, well, I just don't know if there's a, people who won't do that or not. Nobody would conspire to take over. Well, friends, it's here. And this is already, I heard it uh, yesterday on CBN News, and I heard it again uh, on the Gordon Liddy program, in fact, yesterday afternoon. The, and what they want to do that the United Nations has decided that the civilian populations worldwide do not need to have arms. And it's outrageous, friends. And they're already talking to your President Clinton. And, and who knows what he's going to do? Nobody knows what, what Clinton's going to do, I mean, for, for this minute to the next. So, friends, this is so important. We've got to make a stand. And you know what? We can stop it. We absolutely, we can get organize, get together. Remember, we've only got to have 5% that's dedicated of the American population, and we can stop it. But I'll tell you what, we can't sit around, we can't lay around and worry about our neighbor or our friends or somebody else to do it. It's going to take some action on our part. If you're not going to do it yourself, or even if you do do, do it yourself, get your neighbor to do it. I mean, don't depend on your neighbor to do it. Do it with him. Mm -hmm. Sit there and dial the phone if need be. Get these things done. Flood Washington with letters, phone calls, and so forth. And you got to do it now. You can't do it That's next right. week. Because, you know, friends, once we lose these rights, they're awfully hard to get back. In fact, some of these, the people in Washington that want to control us, that want to dominate our society, they will not willingly give these things back. So something's got to be done. You've got to make these people afraid for their jobs. It's not just the ones in Washington, Johnny. It's the ones uh, worldwide. Uh, that's the first step toward imposing world dictatorship is to disarm the public, disarm the, the people in the world. And mm -hmm. I think that's perfectly ridiculous. Well, it is. And friends, we've got to stop it. Something else you can do is join our Shoot and Show Gun Club. It helps us stay on the air. It helps us reach more people. And you can call 1-800-895-7916. Uh, and those members of our gun club do get the Bullet Express discounts, and we'll send you our list of, of goals and aims for our club. We sincerely need your help. 
uh, we need to reach as many people as possible. You know, friends, we cannot wait to join this battle. We've got to get in it. If you're not in it and you're a gun owner, you're a concerned citizen, if you care about the freedom of, of yourself and your children and the rest of us, you've got to join us in this fight, friends. We cannot wait. Boy, you all should have, should have heard this guy at that uh, the Gun Owners Action League in Massachusetts speaking. He was fantastic. Dynamic. Well, I wouldn't say that. I was oh. going to say that about you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you really were, Johnny. Well, I appreciate and, that. And uh, you got several several rounds of applause in the middle of your speech, too. I think it went great. I hope that some of the video on it came out enough so we can splice a piece or two of it in. Well, the point is, and this was what was so inspiring, you know, we found out that those people in the Northeast, those gun owners, are every bit as patriotic as those of us in the rest of the country. They're, you know, they're like a lot of other areas. They've let some loony politicians get in office and get empowered. And friends, what we don't need, you remember the word yellow dog Democrat, the judge was telling me about this the other day, was, and it's not just necessarily a Democrat, a yellow dog voter. They would vote for a yellow dog rather than someone outside their party. We've got to start looking at individuals, friends. We can't depend on voting the party line. That's, we can't do that anymore. We've got to look at the individual and see what that person stands for. You, you, you couldn't em emphasize that too much, Johnny. That is really true. So, friends, we've got to do it now. Back to our program. You know, friends, all of us as shooting enthusiasts should be subscribing to Shotgun News, the trading post for anything that shoots. Three big issues monthly with literally thousands of firearms bargains. Shotgun News, Post Office Box 669, Hastings, Nebraska, that zip code 68902. Their phone number, area 402-463-4589. For MasterCard or Visa for subscriptions only, now call them at 1-800-345-6923. The shooting show will be right back after this break for your local cable company or TV station. Politicians and bureaucrats 
that's all telling us what to do. And they don't seem at all concerned about what they put us through. They tax and spend like there's no end, throw it all away. Just keep in mind there'll come a time when nobody's left to pay. Well, nobody's left to pay. There's people that want to lock us up just to keep us away from harm. They want a police state to give us orders so they can get us unarmed. There's folks that say they know the truth. Well, they saw it on TV. We got some boys on Capitol Hill. Wanna have us free? Now they don't wanna have us free. Oh, I love to hear my heart on I like being free to live out my dreams, and I wanna have a little fun. I wanna hold on to what we've got, we'll see to shine and see. I'm afraid, my friends, the fight is past. Down to you and me Well, down to you and me Down, down, down to you and me Oh, down, down, down to you and me Down, down, down to you and me Down to you and me a 50 round magazine there are 45 rounds in it we'll see if it'll empty them it's old egyptian stuff we'll find out whether it shoots or not some dirty rat put it on semi-auto very controllable loading this gun is quite easy that's the 50 round magazine Simply pull back and let her go. Ejection is directly out the bottom. This foregrip is replaceable. You can take it off or on either way. The gun shoots quite well from the shoulder. I find that I point it uh, a little bit high from the hip, but it is uh, very controllable, even one-handed. This is a burst to show controllability of this very lightweight weapon. What we're going to do here is draw a little line with this gun. Now we'll try it from the other direction. Just another small example of how well this thing controls and shoots. Your $3,000 camera on that? Same deal. Only we want to give you a good idea how well the one how the gun works up close. What we're showing here is the difference between the Calico and the MP5. Uh, the MP5 being on the right, the Calico on the left, and of course the difference in the magazines. This particular magazine for the MP5 is a 40 rounder, this is a 50 rounder for the Calico. Okay, we're going to show the effects of a 40 round burst and a 50 round burst from these two guns respectively at a distance of uh, approximately 25 yards from the gun muzzle. Uh, this would simulate what might occur 
if you're having to uh, dump a magazine in a vehicle. The first one will be the MP5, the second one the Calico. Next will be the Calico. Both of these are from the prone position. Now we're going to do the same thing, only in uh, short bursts offhand from both guns. Uh, both of them, as the sights are set, are obviously shooting a little bit to the left. The calico on that one, uh, between the debris kicked up by the firing, just sort of got away. demonstrate the differences of the two weapons from the prone position. Obviously with the long magazine you must have a higher position with the HK than you do the calico. Also the ejection pattern of the HK is to the side with the calico it's straight down. So much for the HK. The calico is only about half as heavy as the HK. The sight on the rear sight on the calico is on the magazine itself. You have the choice of a peep or a open notch like a pistol. Uh, I don't find the sights on the calico. Uh, be anywhere near the same class as those as the HK, but they're two entirely different weapons, although they use the same rough principle of operation. This is a 25 round burst from each gun. Now obviously the hop of the calico is considerably greater than that of the HK. The purpose of this is simply to show the straight downward ejection of the calico. When it comes to firepower, nothing competes with the calico's 100 round magazine. We're not going to try for anything other than to cover the drum. Now we'll try the same thing with the HK with two 40 rounders and we'll still be 20 rounds short.
That's it. We're still 20 rounds short. Now, friends, what we've just been watching, J.D.'s been shooting some select fire weapons here that are not available to the general public. In fact, us as civilians, we can't buy these guns due to laws passed by the U.S. Congress several years ago. The Calico is a selective fire. This is not the same calico that is for sale at your local gun store or in a catalog. This is a selective fire calico only available to military and police forces. The same with the HK MP5. You have to be a government officer before you can own one of these guns. We certainly appreciate JD doing a test for or showing us how they work. Again, these are not guns that we can buy anyway. These are assault type carbines that have not been available. What we can buy are semi-automatic guns, which are very, very different from these guns. Although they may look alike, they function entirely differently. For information on the entire SSK product line, give them a call at area 614-264-0176. Again, area 614-264-0176. Now, friends, Donna and I are going to tell you about how to enter the shoot and chill lady contest and, uh, and automatically you're gonna know that lets the men out but uh, we want to talk about this because we need more women involved in our project now Donna what do one of the ladies need to do what do they need to do to enter our contest they need to send us what they need to send us a VHS tape five minutes or less telling why we have the right to to keep and bear arms essentially right. mm -hmm. why we why we have or why uh, the lady involved here thinks that we need to have firearms and why she supports that right. Also, why the, you like the shooting show and three, why you'd like to be the shooting show lady. And let me tell you what you get now. The winner of our contest gonna, is going to get a free trip to Las Vegas to the Soldier Fortune Convention. And yes, you do get to bring someone. It doesn't matter if you're married or not. We only ask that you be over 18 years of age uh, so you can go in in uh, uh, some of the places there, some of the gambling houses, I honestly don't know. And of course, none of us are going to gamble, but you might want to uh, on a trip to Las Vegas. That's not our concern. We'd like for you to be in our booth out there. You'll be recognized at the, uh, the banquet at the Soldier Fortune Convention. You're going to get to sign some autographs. It'll be a great trip. Now, Donna, have you been to Arizona? Yes, I have, and it's beautiful. Ladies, we really need you to get involved in this. It's important that you send your tapes in as soon as possible, and we'd love to have your support in what we're trying to show you here. Well, the reason we're talking about Arizona is because the winner of the contest gets a free course at the Gunsight Academy out there, the shooting school, the most famous shooting school worldwide, and that is such a fabulous place to go and visit. It'd be a great vacation, and you could learn some skills that'll save your life. Now then, to enter, write to us here at the shooting show, send your VHS tape, to the shoot and show, 554 Kings Highway, Shreveport, Louisiana, that zip code is 71104. And we've got some great entrance, and uh, we're just looking forward to some more. Send your tapes in. The shoot and show will be right back after this break for your local cable company or TV station. You know, friends, something else we're going to talk about today, a lot of us have 9mm handguns, and the good news is, with Corbin 9mm ammunition, it almost makes your 9 into a 357 Magnum. Uh, this is the ammunition that we can buy that is head and shoulders above any other 9mm chambering that I'm aware of. Well, they have a new load, and if you look in the picture there, the bullet on your right is the new 147 grain 9 millimeter loading from Corbin. Now the difference in this and the other 147 grain bullets from other manufacturers is this 147 runs at 1100 feet per second 
It even runs close to 1,100 out of our small Smith & Wesson 3913 with a 3.5 inch barrel. Now for those of you who want a little more penetration, uh, one, you might carry this gun as a backup gun. If you're a hunter in the woods because it's light and easy to carry, you would still have penetration. Maybe you had to make a final shot on a game animal that was down a head shot to put it out of its, uh, make it stop breathing there. And the 147 grain bullet would be an excellent choice for that. Uh, another thing, if you want more penetration, you see, that 147 grain Corbon at 1,100 feet per second is considerably hotter than the Plus P 38 Specials that are out there. In fact, it is very close to a mid-range 357 Magnum, a tremendous amount of power in the small 9mm package. And you can see from shooting these steel targets, let's take a shot at that heavy steel plate. And those things weigh about 20 pounds a piece. Let's take a look at it here with our 147 grain Corbon 9mm bullet. It definitely does knock the wham out of them. <laughs> now friends, you'll recognize our good friend Seth Wesson here, whom you met earlier in today's program. But let us introduce you to his lovely wife, Carol. And we're going to go through a short tour of the Wesson Firearms Manufacturing Plant. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in Palmer, Massachusetts, and here I am with none other than Kelly Wesson, and we are at the Wesson Firearms Plant here. And as you well know, we've been supporters of the Wesson Company for some time now because they have always uh, fielded a very fine product, and especially today, we think that your level of, of uh, uh, fit and finish and machining and certainly quality of product is right up there with the absolute best that's available anywhere. So so Kelly, now which generation are you for? Oh, geez, um, <clears throat> I've got to be the 13th generation Wesson in, that, in Massachusetts. Well now friends, these people know something about making firearms. I mean, by, that's been a long time. A long time. Of course, uh, Kelly's uh, family dates all the way back to Daniel Baird Wesson, and there's another company over in Springfield. They, don't they make guns over there? <laughs> yes, yes they do. <laughs> but uh, this is such a unique area. We're up here this weekend for the gold meeting, and we're going to be meeting and talking to certainly some of our shooting show viewers and, and some of our gun club members and, and we appreciate so much them taking the time to let us go through the factory. I think that uh, a lot of you are really going to enjoy seeing how the Western guns are made. And certainly they have some CAD CAM machines but they've also got real people back there and doing some real fitting and uh, I think you can really see their level of, of uh, expertise in the finished product. Here we are, we're over here at the polishing department at Wesson Firearms, and we were talking about earlier the handwork that goes into these guns, and this is, um, this is an example of it. These guys are handwork in the frames to get the perfect finish so that when they get and blew it in the bluing tanks, they get that deep, deep blue shine to them. There's a lot of handwork that goes into these, you know, they do it step by step. Um, and when it's if it's not right, they they stick with it until they get the finish that they want. Over here, after the guns are polished and they get that bright finish, they have to clean off all of the, the buffing compounds before they go into the bluing tank. So that's what he's doing here. He's making sure that, that they're all clean and that they're ready to take the blue and go into the blue tank. The inspection here is very critical. Here we got a couple frames that just come out of the blue and tank. And here they'll they'll get uh, washed off and oiled and then they'll be inspected. Okay over here we have our Roby saws. These are um, cut off saws. Um, the one on the far end is our cylinder stock. That's what it starts out as. One long bar and it gets cut, cut to a rough size and then they move on later in the processes with the lathes and the, and the drills and all. And here we have the cut off saw cutting bolts for the for the guns. 
We got cylinders, cylinder blanks here. Over here we have our, our gun drills. Over here they drill the hole out of the center of the, the barrel stock and they also do the shrouds also. Over here we have our, our brooch. We got Hank here, he's pulling the brooch through the barrels in, uh, in the bath of oil. The oils works real well. You get a big, real good finish with the brooch pull. Um, it's an art. A lot of this stuff here is an art. Over here we've got our CNC machines. And over here we've got Kevin. He's broaching the frames as they come from the casting. We've got our CNC lathe over here. Um, we got this part, this piece, not too long ago, and it's it's incredibly accurate. And this takes the rough cylinder blanks that we saw over at the Roby saws when they get cut off, and then it turns both ends and drills the center hole. Here we have some large frame guns that have just come off the CNC machines that are coming over to this area, which is the secondary operations. Um, some extra holes and s some milling. We're now in the assembly room where the guns have just come back from the polishing room. And these guys here, this is where they fit all the internal parts. And they, each guy sticks with that gun until it each guy sticks with the gu each gun until it's fit to the perfection that we require. Then they go from here and they go into the range right over here and they get test fired. My friend, this is their uh, test tunnel. They have an on-site uh, test facility where they can actually shoot the guns. Of course, uh, due to government regulation, it has to be behind this plexiglass, uh, plexiglass screen here. Well, friends, we want to thank the good staff at Wesson Firearms for uh, taking us through. We appreciate Kelly's efforts. Also, Carol and Seth have a couple of other very fine uh, children. Uh, of course, Eric Wesson is a nationally ranked silhouette shooter, a very fine young man. Also, they have a lovely daughter named Judy, and we appreciate so much their courtesy uh, to us while we were there. This, of course, is our shooting show special, the 41 Magnum fixed barrel gun that uh, they're building for us, and these guns are not for sale yet, but in a few weeks, uh, certainly within a month, we anticipate they will be. So, friends, if you would like information on the fine Wesson Firearms Company line, you can give them a call at area 413-267-4081, 413-267-4081. They're some of the nicest people that, honestly, we've ever met, and they do build a superior product. You know, friends, this may be one of the most important sponsors that you'll see on this program. You know, our economy is in such strange uh, habits now. We have so many unusual things going on with interest rates. Well, this may be an option for you. In America today, you have a right to bear arms and a right to own gold. Right now in America, forces are at work to take away your rights to bear arms. We know that. But did you know they are also trying to take away your right to own gold? The time to buy a gun is not after an attack. The time to buy gold is not after the market collapses. Call Swiss America at 1-800-289-2646, 1-800-BUY-COIN, and get a free copy of Your Right to Own Gold. It's a must-read for all gun owners who care about their freedom. Call today, 1-800-289-2646, 1-800-BUY-COIN, don't wait until you lose your rights. Do it today. You know, some of you may be thinking you have to be wealthy to invest in gold or to buy gold. Well, that's just not the case. They're willing to work with you whether you have $50 to spend or 500000 It's a free call. The information package is free. Friends, this could really affect your future. I'd like to welcome you here to Gunsight. The training that you'll get here will perhaps be some of the most meaningful training that you'll ever get. Good job. Okay, Excellent. down the guard, finger straight, looking good. Pick it up. Move out. Next shooter, step on up. Ease across. 
side press. Shoot. Now, friends, for information on the Great Gunsight Training Center, you can call us at 1 800 895 7916. Ask for Department Gunsight and give us your name and address and phone number, and we'll pass that information on to the good people out at Gunsight. Friends, they have a tremendous line of products as well as, of course, the training facility and a number of different courses available. It is more affordable than most of you would realize. They do take MasterCard, Visa, major credit cards, and they're some of the finest people uh, that you could run into in this sort of industry, absolutely. So if you have some interest in Gunsight, give us a call. Also, there may still be some slots left for shooting in the National Tactical Invitational Match, and we'll, if you're interested in shooting in that match, we'll get them the information. They'll get in contact with you, and you can check it out from there. Anyway, 1-800-895-7916, Department Gunsight. And, of course, friends, here's that great D-Day Plus 50 Normandy tape uh, that we are selling through the program here. And this is a fabulous composition of pictures of great historical significance. For information on how to get this tremendous tape, and it's available for only $35 plus $4 shipping and handling from Destination Images, that phone number is 1-800-868-1188. 1-800-868-1188. Well, friends, it's happened again. We have run out of time. I'll tell you what, we just have too much to say, too much to do to get it in one hour. So, of course, that's why we keep coming back for the next show. Well, Kurt and I both want to thank everyone who's joined our gun club, and, and we need everyone who can because we have such a tremendous job of reaching more and more Americans because, friends, none of us are ready to let this country go. So, until next time, We'll see you on another shooting show.